And much of our area remains under several different weather advisories this morning, stretching from Palm Beach to Miami-Dade counties with wind advisories extended well into the afternoon. We have live team coverage this morning. Local 10's Roy Ramos, he's out on Hollywood Beach. Terrell Fournay is on Miami Beach, both with a look at how the weather is holding up at this hour. But first, let's get right over to Brandon Orr with a check on the forecast. Yeah, because we've been dealing with the winds all week long, but they peaked overnight last night and during the day yesterday where we had several wind gusts over 50 miles per hour peaked at 56 miles per hour in Dania Beach parts of the Keys even in Miami Dade had a gust to around 53 miles per hour did cause some power outages overnight too at one point more than 10,000 FPL customers in Miami Dade alone without power numbers much better now a little more than 1600 close to 1400 over in Broward County so much more tolerable those numbers should continue to go down as the day goes on as we slowly weaken the winds still have this flood advisory through 1 p.m. this afternoon for wind gusts up to 50 miles per hour right there along the immediate coastline. But as we get deeper into today, not only will the winds relax, but we'll get rid of the clouds. We'll get rid of any rain too. This is the final push of rain. Just a few little sprinkles left over in Broward County. You're done with any meaningful rain. Finally in Miami Dade, we got the last push moving through Miami and Miami Beach right now. You can still see some raindrops hitting the lens, but there's some blue sky there in the background behind the Miami skyline. So we're getting there. We're getting better. Still some heavy rain down around Key Largo, but lots of sunshine later on today. We'll continue through the next couple of days. Highs at 79, warmest of the seven day forecast. I'll show you how cool we're going to get behind this next front. My forecast minutes away. Our team coverage takes us to Hollywood Beach. And that's where local times Roy Ramos is standing by with a look at how the weather is behaving out there. A little bit of cleanup to do out on the broadwalk. Yeah, that cleanup has already started. In fact, we've gotten some sporadic showers here, but it is the wind that is just consistent and continues uh, to uh, move the uh, uh, churn up the waters, I should say, right off of the Atlantic. Take a look right here behind me. You can see what it's done. It's moved a lot of the sand here onto the Broadwalk. You can see some people coming out to try and enjoy the day, despite the weather that we're seeing on the horizon. A lot of wind. Um, it's, it really sounded like a, like a Cat 1 hurricane. Severe wind and rain pummeling South Florida for the past few days. It's been nasty. Yeah, it's been very, very nasty. The strong gusts churning up the Atlantic off Hollywood Beach, ripping down palm frowns and blowing sand everywhere. It's so uh, different to see that boardwalk the way it is. It feels like it was a hurricane. The city of Hollywood placing these flood barriers along the openings of the seawall, but portions of the Hollywood Beach Broadwalk, no match for the weather, still covered in sand while other areas had flooding following overnight thunderstorms and downpours. The thunder and lightning is what woke me up. It scared me a little bit. And then, of course, you can't go back to sleep and the wind's hitting the windows. So. Laura Deutsch arrived from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina Friday, and since then, her getaway, like many, has been a washout. Last night was a little frightening because I'm right on the waterways. As crews now work to remove the sand covering areas of the Broadwalk, it is residents and visitors just hopeful the worst of these storms are past us. I got five more days and I want to get some sunshine. <laughs> and as you saw right there, we did have a brief moment of sunshine that lasted for about a half an hour before this cloud cover moved in again. But like many, we are just ready for this storm to pass. As for the cleanup, well, that is now well underway. We saw those crews picking up down palm frowns and trying to move all of the sand that you can see right here on the broad walk back onto the beach. We are just hoping that it will stay there. For now on Hollywood Beach, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News. All right, our team coverage moves now to Local 10's Terrell Fournay. He's live on Miami Beach with a live look at the weather conditions. I see it started raining out there, Terrell. Yeah, another rain shower moving into this area. And this is something that has made tourists uh, who have been frequenting Miami Beach all weekend long very skeptical about coming outside. We know that uh, these breaks and these rain showers have been pretty significant uh, throughout the morning, and that gave people a false sense that perhaps the uh, rain and the wind was behind us, but that is, of course, not the case right now. Um, we know that Ocean Drive has since cleared out because this rain shower has pushed through, um, but this is obviously proof that the worst is perhaps not yet um, done with this area of Miami Dade. Things expected to get better as the day goes on. The routine cleanup is underway Sunday morning on Miami Beach, perhaps a little more than normal. All because of heavy winds and rain that down palm fronds and even a weakened street sign. 
Locals like Terry Walsh know the drill. It's uh, really windy. Yeah. Really windy, yeah. yeah. And some rain. But, you know, I'm kind of used to see this is Florida. Next week will be beautiful. Tourists, though, are unfamiliar with Florida's unpredictable weather. They paid for a vacation of sunshine and beach, but they got a dose of blustery and wet instead. Like this woman visiting from Portugal, who is connecting to a cruise. We're not going to stay here, so we look forward to have some sun during the vacation. Yes. Didn't get much of it this time. No, no. I mean, it's still pretty warm. It's, what, 70 degrees out? Not too bad. Nice weather, besides the wind and the waves. The unusual December weather system kept palm trees swaying Saturday night and left the usually bustling Ocean Drive practically empty. At the Gabriel Italian restaurant, the manager tells Local 10 that business is down at least 60% over the past three days. I've been here for 25 years, so first time again in December there is a such a bad weather. I would imagine it made uh, walking the dog kind of difficult though. Yes, he hates the rain. So this would, of course, be one of those difficult moments when it comes to walking your dog. Uh, but again, this is not expected to last throughout the day. In fact, this is probably one of the last few rain showers pushing through the area, as you heard in the forecast just a few moments ago. But we know that the restaurant owners and operators in this area, they are hoping to recoup some of those lost dollars in the days and weeks ahead. Reporting live from Miami Beach, Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News. All right.